Exodus chapter 13, And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Sanctify to me all the firstborn, whatsoever opens the womb among the children of Israel, both man and a beast, it is mine. And Moses said to the people, Remember this day in which you came out from Egypt, out of the house of bondage. For by the strength of your hand the Lord brought you out of, from this place. There shall be no leavened bread be eaten. This day came you out in the month of Abib. And it shall be when the Lord shall bring you into the land of the Canaanites and the Hittites and the Amorites and the Hivites and the Jebusites, which he swore to your fathers to give you a land flowing with milk and honey, and that you shall keep this service in this month. Seven days you shall eat unleavened bread, and in the seventh day shall be a feast to the Lord. Unleavened bread shall be eaten seven days, and there shall no leavened bread be seen with you, neither shall there be leaven seen with you in all your quarters. And you shall show your son in that day, saying, This is done because of that which the Lord did to me when I came forth out of Egypt, and it shall be for a sign to you, for upon your hand, and for a memorial between your eyes, that the Lord's law may be in your mouth. For with a strong hand has the Lord brought you out of Egypt. You shall therefore keep this ordinance in its season from year to year. And it shall be when the Lord shall bring you into the land of the Canaanites, as he swore to you and to your fathers, and shall give it to you, that you shall set apart to the Lord all that opens the matrix and every firstling that comes from a beast which you have. The male shall be the Lord's, and every firstling of a donkey shall redeem with a lamb. And if you will not redeem it, then you shall break its neck, and all the firstborn of man among your children shall you redeem. And it shall be when your son asks you in time to come, saying, What is this that you shall say to him, By strength of hand of the Lord brought us out from Egypt, from the house of bondage. And it came to pass, when Pharaoh would hardly let us go, that the Lord slew all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both the firstborn of man and the firstborn of beasts. Therefore I sacrifice to the Lord all that opens the matrix, being males, but all the firstborn of my children I redeem, and it shall be for a token upon your hand, and for the frontlets between your eyes. For by the strength of the hand of the Lord brought us forth out of Egypt. And it came to pass, when Pharaoh had let the people go, that God led them not through the way of the land of the Philistines, although that was near. For God said, lest perhaps the people repent when they see war and they return to Egypt. But God led the people about through the way of the wilderness of the Red Sea. And the children of Israel went up and harassed, harnessed out of the land of Egypt. And Moses took the bones of Joseph with him, for he had straightly sworn the children of Israel, saying, God will surely visit you, and you shall carry up my bones away from here with you. And they took their journey from Succoth, and encamped in Etham, in the edge of the wilderness. And the Lord went before them by day in a pillar of cloud to lead them the way, and by night in a pillar of fire to give them light to go by day and night. He took not away the pillar of the cloud by day, nor the pillar of fire by night from the people from before the people.